Taylor, what mistakes do you have to make peace with? May I see him? You may get out while you can still walk. N now, Belinda, Noah and Taylor were close ones. Well, what good did that do my brother? Look, I just want to see him and say goodbye. I can understand that. Clear conscience. Find peace. Okay? It's your last chance. Thank you. Now, for his sister's sake, I'm just going to open it for a moment, okay? Ready? Oh, no. I'm sorry. I loved you too much. I heard about Anita's sister, and I just came over to say how sorry I am and give, give you my deepest sympathy. Bobby. Look, look, I know we're not supposed to talk to each other, but would it be okay if I just came in for a second, please, so I could just tell her in person how much I care about her and how much I wish I could stop the bad things from happening, and I am... So sorry for her for, for your loss, Anita. I'm sorry. Mama, please. please. Uh, Mr. Santos, I just stopped by to pay my respects. Look, sir, I know you don't like me, but the thing is, at times like this, it's when friends really need each other. Okay? I was just talking to Mrs. Santos here about maybe the possibility of Anita and I taking a short walk together, just yes. a short walk. And if that's not okay, we can just. We can stay right here, okay? May I? Just for a little while, please, Papa. Please. Don't blame me, Joe. It's Tad. Your happily married son has led my daughter astray again. History repeating itself over and over. Same fool makes the same mistake. But why is it your job to take notice? Because Not I... less make any comments. Because I am a mother. And mothers hate to see their daughters suffer. It makes us cry. Oh, crocodile tears in your case. What? If Liza is confused, it would be no wonder, not with you for a mother. So? Marion, what kind of an example have you ever set your daughter? You're trying to dump this all onto Tad, but what about you? You ran roughshod over Liza's father. Poor Larry, you remember him? You took up with other men? You never respected the sanctity of anybody's marriage. You never showed discretion or restraint. Good Lord, it's a miracle your daughter can even function. Oh, and you and Ruth are a perfect couple, I suppose. No, no, we're not perfect. But I'll tell you, at least we allow our children to lead their own lives. And I, I strongly suggest you do the same. In other words, Marion, butt out. Butt out? Well, I've got two words for you, too, Joe. Only I'm far too much of a lady to say them. Hello, Liza. Uh, Rudy said I could come in here and use your telephone. Oh, sure. No problem. I hear you're a guest on today's show. I am, yes. But Liza, I... Oh, hey, Dad. Oh, hello, son. I was just thanking Liza for the use of the telephone. Well, you don't have to leave. You can have a seat. How's Ruth? Um, actually, uh, if it's okay, I'd like to speak with you for a minute. I'll uh, see you out on the set. Barnes, what do you mean Taylor did it? Are you saying that Taylor is responsible for my brother's death? You wouldn't listen. Yes. You wouldn't yes. leave well enough alone. Yes. Now look at what your obsessive behavior I has caused. I said shut up. He is dead, Taylor. I loved him. I never wanted this. I loved him. What's your mom talking about? She did it. It's your fault. You abandoned me. You refused to help me. You cut off my money. You tried to ruin my life. I'm sorry, my daughter is not well. Get out! Not until she explains. 
Why is Taylor responsible for my brother's death? Is it because of Louis Greco? Are you saying that your daughter lied on the witness stand? I made it in lion cubs. Oh, that is awesome. That's good, solid craftsmanship. Excellent work. You know what? You know that, that the middle drawer in my desk, in, in my den? Uh-huh. Full of keys. I have no idea what they're for. <laughs> so why don't you go put them all in your ring and go around the house and see what unlocks what? Oh, cool. Hey, listen. Stow your gear first, okay? And does your old mom get a goodbye? Bye. Oh, <laughs> thanks a lot. I suppose, like, a kiss would be out of the question? Fine, okay, forget I even asked. Three things. Listen to Adam, behave yourself, let him check your math homework, and I will pick you up after school on Friday. Wait on the corner, okay? I will not invade your play space. You have my solemn vow. Well, go ahead, be good. <sighs> Do you ever feel obsolete? The classics never go out of style. Oh, really? <laughs> well, there are some that I wish would pass into obscurity. Oh, well, anybody I know? Other than me, of course. <laughs> Her last name begins with a C. Oh, damn it. What's Liza done now? Actually, it's not Liza. It's her mother. Wait till you hear about Marion Darling's latest escapade. Well, I just want you to know that I didn't say anything to my mother. I mean, don't ask me how she found out. But once I heard that she told Dixie, I tried to call you and warn you. Yeah, I know. Petra claimed I wasn't home. And then Dixie showed up here, so I sort of spun into major damage control. I hope it worked. It did. Listen. I don't know how to say this, but, uh... After everything we've been through, after everything I've done and said, I know that you don't know me. And I got myself into this somehow, I'm gonna get myself out, but for whatever reason, you did it. You saved my neck. Thank you. Well, hopefully this is the last time we have to have this discussion, right? Nothing would make me happier. Great. So what do you say? We discuss business. Business? As in my contract. I have an ulterior motive for my good cause. I have made a decision that I'm not going to press sexual harassment charges against you or Adam or the station. And I think it's good what Adam did, that he gave you creative control of the show. I think that when we don't have our hands around each other's necks, we work very well together. So do you think that we might be able to put this behind us? I don't know, can we? Yeah, I think we can. Friends? How about congenial co-workers? Congenial co-workers, okay. So you will... Sign on the dotted line? I hope I don't regret this. You won't. You may care about Anita, but the answer is still no. I'm just asking for five minutes, sir. <laughs> Papa, please. Just long enough that I can tell her how sorry I am about her sister. Goodbye. <laughs> Perhaps. If they just came in and, and talked for a few minutes in front of us, what harm could there be? Oh, please, compromise. No, I'm sorry. You will never be welcome in my house. Hector, don't, don't be so rough on him. He just came when in... When Noah was not welcome in this house, you said I was being rough with him. Now I gave in. And what happened? My daughter is dead. Julia is dead. But that is not the same. I lost one daughter and not going to lose another one. Go and never come back.
Anita, Anita! Look, it was this. I am right. You know I'm right, Isabella. This is such a tragedy. At least they're together. That's a cold comfort. You know what, Taylor? You really should go. Yes. Okay. Goodbye. Which one? What are you waiting for, Taylor? Tim, I love Tim. Sweetheart. You loved him? I love him more than any of you. Obsession is not love? Okay, Taylor. How do you know? Shh. You don't know anything. Honey, None honey, of you do. Don't. You're all liars and hypocrites. Oh, no, he's no, the no. only one who understood me. What is going on in here? There's too much noise and too many people. Yes, Miss Cannon and her mother were just leaving. Go. Sweetheart, no, 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 I want everyone please. out of this room right now. Okay, thank you. This, you know what? This is my sister's problem. I am sorry. Please, we want to stay Impossible, with you. But out. No exceptions. Out. Welcome back. I promise you won't regret it. Well, don't make any rash promises. Rash? I think we're finally both heading in the same direction. You know, you're right. We do make a good team. I mean, when we actually leave our personalities and all our problems at home where they belong, we, uh, we work well together. Your talent and my drive, nothing can stop us, not even my mother. If we don't let it. Well, I think we learned our lesson. I think it was hard, but I think sometimes that's best. The past is behind us, and now we are congenial co-workers. When we're not bearing our fangs, I like your style. Well, time to make the announcement. Hello, everybody. I have good news and bad news. Bad news first, the Cutting Edge show today is a go. So we're going to have to liven things up a bit and quicken up the pace. Good news. Tad Martin has resigned his contract, so he's here to stay. Break a leg, everybody. We have a show to produce. Liza, I've got an errand to run. It's very important, but it won't take long. I promise I'll be back in time. Thank you. Thank you.